Mr. President, it's General Carville at the Pentagon on Line 5. This is Dugan. Mr. President, I'm afraid we have a heck of a situation down. How bad could it be, Ben? According to NORAD, we've got Soviet aircraft coming out of small directions and ground troops pushing up through Mexico. I don't know how they snuck in on us. You better double check this with NORAD. This doesn't make any sense. I'll call the Kremlin. Will do. Da, Premier Romanov here. What's going on over there, Alex? Why, Mr. President? Whatever do you mean? Alex, I... I have, um... You're throwing everything you've got at us, Alex. We're supposed to be allies, you maniac. I'm the one that put you into office. Listen! Very I am not your pet, Mr. President. We Romanovs have our legacy to consider. I don't give a wooden nickel about your legacy. You call them off. Alex, you called them off. You know who we'll retaliate. Oh, don't be so sure, Mr. President. Sir, verification? You bet you. Sweet mother. It's time to hit back. Make it happen. Yes, sir. This is General Carville. Soviet invasion confirmed. Execute bomb charter 010 Adam Delta Charlie. Have confirmation. Missiles prime. Armed. Missile command. Ten seconds to launch. Open the missile silos. Jerry, what? We have to open the silos, or they'll explode under. The silo doors are closed! This is suicide! Is it done, Yuri? No, Comrade Premier. It has only begun. Commander, good morning. We've successfully instituted the President's Emergency Lazarus Protocol. I'm Lieutenant Eva, the intel officer assigned to your command. And since you're the only commander left alive, I guess I'm pretty lucky to have a job. It appears that we have suffered a full-scale Soviet invasion. Nearly all our major cities are under siege and our forces are in complete disarray. Please stand by, Commander. We have an incoming broadcast from General Carville at the Pentagon. I hope you're rested and ready, Commander, because as of 0800 hours, you are in control of every satellite, base, tank, airplane, enlisted man, woman, and child in the eastern United States. You answer to the President, and you answer to me. Your ops officer and vital lifeline will be the Lieutenant. Your point man for this mission will be Special Agent Tanya. General, I hope the Commander is up to speed, because we don't have time to waste. 
I'm sure Tanya has every confidence in you, Commander. Oh, you're sure? Well, it's not your life that's on the line out here. <laughs> She's the best there is, but you'll get along better with the Soviets. You'll get started immediately. First stop, New York. The lieutenant will give you the details. Not long ago, the Soviets made an amphibious landing on Manhattan Island and are using their ground troops to systematically take over the city. Fortunately, we still have a hold on Fort Bradley, but our comlink has been severed. If you can get Agent Tanya into Bradley, she will re-establish the link. Good luck, Commander. Establishing battlefield control. Stand by. The Soviet Navy is attacking the Statue of Liberty. We can't let them get away with that. Sir, is there anything you can do? Incoming transmission. Tanya here. Listen up, we got a couple commie dreadnoughts in the harbor looking for a special sightseeing tour of the Hudson River. I say we give them a very special view of the bottom first. Battle control Hello everyone and welcome back to Command and Conquer Red Alert. Or Red Alert 2 actually, not, not just the, the basic Red Alert. This is a remastered Allied campaign we're playing here. So this is not a... it's not really a mod per se because this runs with a basic game, but the, the maps have been expanded a bit as you can see the distance between the City of Liberty here and... Is, is, is the island actually called Liberty Island? I think it's called Liberty Island. If not, feel free to correct me. Uh, it's much larger now, so the map is a lot larger than it used to be. So the creator called the campaign a remastered campaign, but I did not name this like this this playthrough here, like Red Alert 2 Remastered, because as soon as I do that, someone's going to think it's the remastered version of Red Alert 2, which is somehow that like, came out before they knew about it and then people are going to post Red Alert 2 Remastered when and Generals 2 when comments. I don't really want that, so... The basics are still the same. Well, they have to be because it's not, it's not modified beyond the maps having been expanded and changed in a numerous way. So let's deal with the paratroopers, which are going to come in next. Lady Liberty is in pretty bad shape. But what can you do? There come the paratroopers. It's okay, we've got Tanya here. Fully promoted Tanya, no less, so she's gonna gun these guys down, no problem. And those ones too. Let's just stay here, that should, that should solve our problem here. There we go, and they just they just pop. And there's a Kirov. Unfortunately, we don't really have much anti-air here. We have some some Patriot missiles here, but those aren't really in a position to stop this specific Kirov here right now. What can you do? Maybe you can just move a little bit. Otherwise, you're just going to get yourself killed, and we don't want that. Oh well, there goes. There goes Lady Liberty, I suppose. Boom. What can you do? We're going in. I offer a special invitation to citizens of the United States from the Great Soviet Union. See your liberty. How she lies broken before you. In but a moment's time, your once powerful city of New York will follow in her footsteps. The choice is yours. You can continue to mourn your past or surrender and join us in the great Soviet revolution. Doesn't sound there. good, sir. We're going to have to double time it the rest I'm of the way there. to reach Fort Bradley in time. New okay. Discovered. So, Tani has quite some swimming to do here. We could take these guys along, but we don't have any transport, so... I guess you're just stuck. Here's another Kirov. I don't like that. What do we have here? Some scorpions. What are you shooting at exactly? Well, never mind. We'll get to that. So here's more GIs, so let's help those guys out. So 
we can join me here. Is it Kiev going to attack us if we... No. It's not, so that's, that's fine then. And Tanya, you go ahead. You're my strongest unit. Let's see. Uh, oh. Your orders are to join these GIs here. And then follow Tanya. Okay, so there's more Soviets in the north. May as well gun those guys down. While we're at... Where are you? Oh. Uh, there's a... We can't just drive down here. Actually, yeah, we can't. Okay. So let's see. That we make our way down here. So we have to go all the way around here, as it seems. All right. More sea scorpions. I guess those are just on patrol. Who knows? In any case... Maybe a bit more. Let's maybe be a bit more careful here, because who, who knows what, what what else is lurking around here? And we have to wait for the. Oh, so there's more paratroopers here. That's fine. No problem. Let's just gun those down before they take over McBurger Kong. If that happens. Everything's lost. Goodbye. I didn't even intend to kill that guy over there, but I guess I did kill him. Okay. More folks here. Not a problem. They're just securing some park here. And I'm pretty sure then I can shoot over sandbags. Or, you know what? Uh, maybe not. You know what? Doesn't matter. So did they drop reinforcements behind us? I'm pretty sure they did. Yep, they sure did. Okay, so you, you guys can continue carefully into this direction and Tana, you can just intercept these folks here. And goodbye. More folks here. And here we are. Good, 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 good. You still have a long way to go here to Fort Bradley. I wonder whether this is to scale. Well, I'd say to scale. I'm not, not sure how far away Fort Bradley is just from the from the Statue of Liberty or just downtown New York. In any case, see there's more of you here. You just run away. We're gonna we've got Tanya for this. We might want to preserve some GIs just so we can use them to garrison buildings later. Let's see about that. For now this will do. Okay, and yep, just more of you. There's just so many conscripts. Everywhere. A lot of buildings are already damaged so we can't really garrison them. But that's fine. And there you go. Oh, and there's more of them. Okay. I am. Tanya's going to increase her, her body count by quite a bit today. And there's more coming from from behind as well. That's fine. But we're we're gonna move on. I can't I can't just wait for everyone to catch up here. That's just not gonna be feasible. There we go. Let's just run away. And we'll, we'll catch up with those guys later. Once we are at Fort Bradley, we can probably just hang out there for a while and gun everyone down who got parachuted in after us. Unless those are their constant reinforcements, but let's see about that. Party's right here. There we go. There's a seaside hotel. And is this the bridge already? We'll see. Yeah, there's more Kirovs here too. But don't think that matters much. And this looks good to me, yeah. Anybody on this bridge here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, looks good to me. Good work, Commander. We're back in contact with the fort. 
Tanya has sent over intel on the location of an important Soviet supply base in the area. General Carville would like you to dispose of it ASAP. Sure thing. Oh, keep up the good work, sir. You're welcome. Uh, let's see that we fix this bridge here. So let's get an engineer for that purpose. And oh, here they come. I mean, we could just blow up the bridge, I suppose. Unless there's a repair trigger for that. Let's get a couple of you going, just so we can make sure that we that we have some defenders here against those endless red waves. Oh snap! Oh yeah, there's nobody there to re to intercept that guy. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, you continue into this direction here. You please deploy yourself. Yeah, they should do it for the most part. We're gonna lose some guys here, but that doesn't really matter all that much. There we go. Are those barrels tougher than they used to be? I don't think they are, because as I said before, this isn't this isn't a mod. This, these are just modified maps. Okay. Okay, time to. Blow you up here. Let's gun the conscripts down. Do you actually need any significant damage against these launchers here? It doesn't really look like it, but that's fine. Let's just continue to detonate barrels here. There we go, and. Goodbye construction yard. Yeah, but this this is okay. I think these guys here can hold the line. I guess I, I could get a couple more of them. I do have an order. There we go. I guess you could help out here as well if you would like to. Okay. Let's maybe get a couple of these guys over here as well to to get the these guys here disposed of. How am I supposed to fight these folks? I guess I could just get over there with GIs. Maybe maybe I don't have to. Maybe I just have to destroy all the non-base defense buildings. We'll see about that. There we go. Here we are. Let's continue. Yeah. We'll, we'll take. We'll have some losses here, but. We might also end up with a highly promoted GIs if we if we keep keep it on. So that should be fine too. Let's see. Ooh, there's a Kirov here. Has that always been there? Ooh, nice. Let's blow that up and let's see. Soviet paratroopers incoming, okay. So with paratroopers, I guess that was just a general message. In any case, you please join me here. Just come over here, you can take care of those guys here. And you please detonate this barrel here without getting yourself killed, please. Can you just destroy these launchers here? That's nice. Let's get more of you. Can you? And you, you have you, Yeah, you have to detonate these. No, 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 no. Let's let's not do that. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's that's just that's just not gonna be not gonna be feasible. 
So I think we just have to, we just have to get in there with, with GIs. I wouldn't know how else to do this. Hey, pillbox creep. Well, no, that's not gonna work. Whatever. At least these guys are getting some promotions, and hopefully some of them will get full promotions before they die. They're, that'd be nice. And we can also put Tanya over there again because she's not going to be that useful here because I think there's just too high a chance that she's going to get herself killed and I don't want that. Hey, full promotion. Also means you can get your, you can regenerate now. You just come over here. A couple more of you, please. And we want to make sure that this, this attack here succeeds, otherwise... We're just gonna wait, waste uh, like all these folks here, and not get much out of it. Yeah, and Tanya. Actually, what I could do here now is I could remove all of you here, because Tanya by herself will stop almost any number of conscripts on a bridge like this. Even if you, if you had them march shoulder to shoulder, I think they might not not be able to to get close enough to her. Okay, so this should this should be sufficient. I mean, it's just two base defenses. It's not... they're not that bad, even though they have their infantry. Okay. So, you can you can come a little bit closer. Yeah, th this is fine. And there we go. Boom. Yeah, your lightning counterattack blunted the Soviet invasion. Yeah, this was uh, not too difficult. It's a bit more difficult than the original because like we had uh, we had a longer map to to transverse and then we were reinforcements, etc. It's not too difficult for the time being. In any case, and the the screen here is a little bit bugged, but oh well, what can you do? Thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.